The iOS app Prime is one of my favorite photo editing apps, and so much so that it's actually earned a front page spot on my iPhone and has been there for well over a year now. And one of the reasons that I really like it is because it has this automated engine in it where it analyzes your photos and then suggests filters based off of the content and the colors of the pictures that you're using. I think that's really, really cool. And the feature that I wanna show you today is how you can easily copy and paste your settings from one photo to a bunch of other ones. So if you're gonna do something like I did over the weekend where I wanted to post a mini story on Instagram of a series of photos of just making coffee, simple stuff, right? I wanted to have each photo to have a consistent look. So I went into Prime on one of the photos, played around with the settings, found something I liked, and then essentially copy and pasted that across all the other pictures. So let me show you how this works. I've already put the photos that I'm gonna use into an album I called Coffee Story. And I'll start with the first one here. So delicious case coffee, local here in Ashland. Down at the bottom, you'll see there's a row of icons and the middle one is a kind of a picture icon. When you tap that, you might've seen very, very quickly, it says analyzing. It might take a little bit longer if you're on a slow internet connection, but it's not actually uploading your photos, just uploading some data about the photo. Kind of a, it's a cloud color pixel analysis. If you wanna know more about what it's actually doing in the back end, then I did do a podcast with these guys last year. We'll link that up here and you can check out that podcast episode and learn a lot about the back end of this. Anyway, it has just analyzed the photo and given me a few suggestions. And if I tap through these, I mean, odds are I'm gonna like all of them. And these are subtle, right? These aren't big, huge, crazy effects on here. These are nice and subtle ones, which is what I generally like. So there were a couple on there that I really liked. Um, I think that elk one, yeah, that's good. It's a little bit muted. It's got a little green into the shadows. If I tap and hold on the screen, we see a before and after. And yeah, I like that. I'm gonna go with that one. So in this case, that's really all I need. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the check mark, hit okay. And you'll see here you have a row of options on how to save it. You can share it, you can save a copy, but what we really wanna do here is save with history. This is an important part because we'll be able to then copy and paste that history from one photo to others. And we could do more than just do this effect and copy and paste it, but I wanna have the same base effect and then maybe tweak other individual images on their own, if I want to. We'll go ahead and allow Prime to modify the photo. And that's all there is to it. All right, let's back out of here. Now, the next step is not to go into the photo and then apply the same look, which we could do, but of course, if we had a lot of things that we'd done to the picture, that wouldn't be very effective. So instead, notice down at the bottom again, you have the plus that's surrounded by the kind of swirly rainbow thing. Tap on that, it brings us into a new screen where I can select individual images. But if I only select one, notice down at the bottom left, it says copy edits or paste edits. I can go ahead and copy the edits to the clipboard. And now I'll deselect the one that I just had and then select all of the other images in here. So let's just grab all of these. And then down on the bottom left again, you'll see that paste edits is available. I tap paste edits, pasting to six photos, allow Prime to modify those photos, and that's all there is to it. So now the effect has been applied to each one, but I might at this point wanna make some other tweaks to each picture. So let's just go through them real quickly one at a time. That one looks good to me, I'm happy with that. Let's go to the next one. Yeah, maybe I wanna crop out that little bit of the floor or something showing on the corner. So I'll go to the crop tool, open up crop, make sure it's cropped to square, and let's just crop it in a tiny, tiny bit. All right, I'm good with that. Again, I'm gonna say save with history so that I do have the ability at any point to go back and make any changes to this photo. So the entire history will be saved here. This one maybe needs a little straightening, a little cropping again as well. So let's go to the straighten slider. Looking at the guidelines there, I can ensure that I've got a nice straight line. I'm looking at the black edge line of the counter. And also if I look at the handle of the portafilter here, it's not exactly centered. So let's go ahead and center that off a little bit. It might not actually be exactly straight either, but we're gonna call that good. Excellent. Again, save with history. It does ask you each time if it can modify, which I gotta be honest, I think is a little bit annoying, but I'm sure that this is an iOS thing. I don't think that Prime has any control over this. This one needs a little bit of crop on the right-hand side, and also I think I'll bring the highlights down a little bit on this one. So let's bring up crop again. Once again, set it to square, crop in that white line off the side, and then I'll go into the adjustments. So bottom left, the adjustments button, and find my highlights, and bring those down just a little bit. There we go. If I tap on the screen at this point, I'll see a before and after of the subtle work that I just did. But if I go ahead and hit the checkbox here, 
and save this, or even before I save it, just while I'm looking at all the effects at once, I can tap and hold on that and go back to the original. So you can see quite a difference in there. Let's go on to the next photo. This one I didn't even shoot square, and it definitely needs a big crop. So let's really push into that. Get that crop there, looking pretty good. I like the overall look. Save with history. And then one more image. This one here needs a crop and a rotate, so let's turn that guy around. Grab the crop tool. Actually, let's start with a straighten. Straighten that out again, looking at the bottom edge of the table. Crop that guy to square. And decide what I want to leave in the photo. Let's get a little bit more hand in there. Maybe crop it like so. Excellent. So now I have all seven of these images with a consistent look and feel. They're all crop square. So now adding them as an Instagram story is going to be super easy to do. Let's check out how to do that real quick and we'll be done. So fire up Instagram, hit the plus button. Of course, if you've set aside your photos into an album, that'll make it easy to find that those pictures just in the album that you created, or as I usually do is just put them into favorites. Then I'll just tap on the stories button and start adding them. You'll notice that it does have that first picture selected marked as number one. I don't want that to be the first photo in my story, so I'll deselect that and let's put these in order. So beans, weighing the beans, tamping the beans, grinding was not a good picture, so we left that one out. There's the tamped beans, brewing the coffee, steaming the milk, and then pouring the latte art. Excellent. Next, and away we go. At this point, I don't have to go into Instagram to do all the different looks on them because I've already done that. It's all consistent and ready. Add my caption, and that's all there is to it. For more tips like these on photo apps for your mobile device or your desktop computer, be sure to check out photoapps.expert and see what's waiting for you there.